finding patients a compatible living donor kidney transplant is our goal. We all know that living donor transplants um, have better outcomes than deceased donor transplants. We also know that among living donor transplants, compatible transplants have the best outcomes, and that is the primary goal of our paired exchange program. Having said that, there are a subset of patients that are never going to get a transplant if we force them to wait to find a compatible transplant. And so really our goal at UAB is to help patients get transplanted as quickly as possible and help them get off dialysis. And our goal is for anyone who can, comes forward with a living donor is to be able to make a transplant happen for them. And that's why we've expanded our program to include not only our paired exchange program, but also our desensitization program and to be able to combine those two. We also know that patients who get a living donor kidney transplant through desensitization have outcomes that are still far superior than remaining on dialysis and they're also superior to even deceased donor kidney transplants. If you look at outcomes among blood group incompatible live donor transplants, those outcomes are actually on par with compatible transplants. Those patients do very well. The tissue incompatible transplants, their outcomes aren't quite as good, but are still superior to deceased donor kidney transplants and certainly are far superior to, uh, to remaining on dialysis. If you look eight years post an tissue incompatible transplant, if you look eight years out, what is the patient's survival? It's somewhere in the 80% range. If you look at the same group of patients that are still on dialysis, their survival is about 30%. So it really does give patients, um, it gives them life, it gives them longevity, and that's really what we're hoping to do.